Chapter 8 of the Darkening of Valinor. When Manwe heard of the ways that Milcah had taken, it seemed plain to him that he purposed to escape to his old strongholds in the north Middle Earth, and Olome and Tulkas went with all speed northward, seeking to overtake him if they might, but they found no trace or rumor of him beyond the shores of the Teleri. In the unpeopled wastes that drew near to the ice, therefore, or thereafter, the watch was redoubled along the northern fences of Amman, but to no purpose, for if ever the pursuer set out, Melchior had turned back and in secrecy passed away far to the south, for he was yet as one of the valor and could change his form, or walked and called as called his brethren, though the power he was soon to lose forever. Thus unseen he came at last to the dark region of Avatar, the Nagulam lay south of the bay of Aldama, beneath the eastern feet of the Beloi, and long and mournful, mournful means uh, distressing or grief, way, shows, stretch away to the south, lightless and unexplored, there beneath the sheer walls of the mountains on the cold dark sea, the shadows were deepest and thickest in the world, and there in Avatar, secret and unknown, Angonians, he had made her about. The elder knew not whence she came, but some have said that in ages long before she descended from the darkness that lies about Arda, when Mecca first looked down in envy upon the kingdom of An Manway, and uh, that in the beginning uh, she was one of those that has corrupted to his service, but she had disowned her master. Disowned means lost connection or uh, reject him, or there is no much uh, tight links between them. Tidings. Designed to be mistress of her own lust taking all things to herself to feed her emptiness, and she fled to the south, she fled to the south, escaped the assaults of the Vala and the hunters of Orme, for the vigilance had ever, uh, had ever been to the north, and the south was long unheeded, thence she had uh, crept towards the light of the blessed realm, crept means, uh, Say, uh, sneaked, sneaked toward the lights of the blessed realm, for she hungered for light and hated it. In a raven she lived, and took shape of spider of monstrous form, waving her black webs in a cleft of the mountains. There she uh, sucked up all light that she could find, and spun it forth, spun it, uh, well, it or twisted on its uh, axis, let's say. It forth again in darkness of strangling gloom, gloom means uh, a partially darkness, until no light more could come to her abode. And she was fa uh, famished, famished means extremely hungry. Now Michael came to Avatar and sought her out, and he put on again the form that he had worn as the tyrant of Otomno, a dark lord, tall and terrible. In that form he remained ever after there in black shadows, beyond the sight even of Manwe. In this highest hall, Mecca with Angolian wanted his revenge, but when Angolian understood the purpose of Mecca, she was torn between lust and great fear, for she was loath to dare the perils of Amman and the bow of the dreadful lords. And she would not sit still from her hiding, and is not off from her hiding. Therefore, Mecca said to her, uh, Do as I bid, do as I bid, as well I offer. And if thou hunger still when all is done, then I will give thee whatsoever uh, thy lust may demand. Which means, uh, do as I offer to you. And if you are still hungry, uh, after all this, what you will do, uh, I will give you whatever you want. Yeah, where with both hands. Uh, lightly he made his vow, this vow, vow, this voice, or the sound, as he ever did, and he laughed in, the, in his heart. Uh, thus the great thief set his law for the, the lesser. 
A cloak of darkness she wove about them when Milker and Angonian set forth, an, uh, an unlit unlight in which things seemed to be no more, and which eyes could not pass, for it was void. Then slowly she rolled her webs, rope by rope, from cleft to cleft, from jutting rocks to pinnacle of uh, uh, stone. Jutting rock means the rock that has uh, projecting. Uh, or to pinnacle, pinnacle, the climax of stone, ever climbing upwards, curling and clinging, clinging, clinging means uh, holding tightly, until at last she reached the fair summit of uh, Hyara Mantel, the highest mountain in the region of the world, far south of the great Titanic Battle. There the fellow were not vigilant, for west of the Bellori was an empty land in twilight, and eastward the mountains looked out, save for forgotten Avatar. Uh, except means the forgotten avatar, only upon the dim waters of the pathless sea. But now upon the mountains top dark and gaudy and clay, and she made a ladder of woven orbs and cast it down. And Mecca climbed upon it and came to the high place and stood beside her, looking down upon the guarded realm. Through them lay the woods of Orome, and westward shimmered the fields, shimmered means scattered the fields, and the uh, pastures of Yavan. God beneath the tall wheat of the god. But Melkor looked north and saw afar the shining plain and the silver domes of the domes of means uh, dwelling of the Valmar gleaming or shining in the mingling of the light of Tiberion uh, and the Lyurian. Then Michael laughed aloud and leapt swiftly down to the long left means jumped swiftly down to the long western slopes, and Angola was at his side, and her darkness covered them. Now it was a time of festival, as America knew well, though all tides and seasons were uh, at uh, the wall of the Fala, and uh, in the Fala there was no winter of death, nonetheless they dwelt then in the kingdom of Alda, and that was but a small realm in the halls of Aya, whose life is time, whose flowers over uh, from the first to and on to the last court of Ero. And even as it was then the light, the light of the Valar, as it told in the Aeon Delay, to clothe themselves as an vesture uh, or a, ga a garment or a raiment in that forms of the children of the Valar. So also did they eat and drink and gather the fruits of Yavanna from uh, the earth, which under Ero they, made, uh, they had made. Uh, therefore, Yavanna set times for the flowering and the ripening, ripening, flickering of all things that grew in Valinor. And at each first of uh, a gathering of woodsmen we made a high feast for the bracing of Ero, when all the people of Valinor brought forth their joy in music and sang upon Tranquil. Thus, uh, this now was that Howard and Manwe uh, dec uh, decreed to give his order a feast more glorious than any that had been healed since the coming of the altar to Aman. For though the escape of Melka potent toils, potent means as a sign, a warning sign, that could uh, came with the toils or means exhaust or uh, let's say uh, many traps or uh, something that unwelcomed or unfavored by welcome and sorrows or grief to come, to come. and indeed not could tell uh, what further hurts will be done to other ere he could be subdued again. At this time men were designed to heal the evil that had arisen among the Noldor and all were uh, bidden to come to his hall upon time portal, there to put aside the griefs that lay between their princes and forget utterly the lies of their enemy. Then there, there uh, uh, came the Vanyar, and there came to the north door of Tyrion, and the Maya were gathered together, and the, uh, the Vala were arrayed in their beauty and majesty, and they sang before memory and father in their lofty halls, or high halls, or danced toward the trees. In that day, the streets of Valmar were empty, and the stairs of Tyrion were silent, and all the land uh, lay sleeping in peace. Only the Tyrion beyond the mountains still sank upon the shores of the sea. 
how they worked little means not giving attention or giving attention little of the season for all times and gave no thought to the cares of the rulers of Alda or the shadow that had fall, uh, fallen on Valinor for it had not touched them as yet. One thing only marked the design of Manwe. Uh, Fenio came indeed for him alone and Manwe uh, had commanded to come. For him alone man, Manwe had commanded to come. But Fenio came not, nor any others of the Nordo of Formios. For said Fenio, while the band last upon Fenio, my son, uh, that he may not go uh, to Tyrone, I hold myself unkinged. Means I am not a king, and I will not meet my people. And Fenio came not in the end of festival, and he wore, wore no ornament, neither silver, nor gold, nor any gem. And he denied the sight of the symbol to the valor and the elder. He prevented the valor and elder from seeing his symbols as gems, and left them locked in Formenos in their chamber of iron. Nevertheless, he met from Golfin for the throne of Manwe and was consoled. In word, and Fingolfin said, At not the unsheathing, unsheathing means the sword that stood in its head in its uh, sheath uh, of the sword. For Fingolfin held forth his hand, saying, As I promised, I do now, I release thee, I release you, means, and uh, remember no grievous. Then Fino took his hand in silence, but Svingolfin said, Half brother in blood, full brother in heart, will I be, thou shalt lead, and I will follow. May no new grief divide us. I hear thee, said Fino. Uh, so be it. I hear thee, means I hear you. But they did not know the meaning uh, that their words would be our bear. Uh, it's told that even as uh, Feno and Fink of a storm before Manway, they came to the, the mingling of the lights when both trees were shining and the silence of the city of Alma was filled with the radiance of the silver and gold. And in that very hour, Milker and Angoliath came hastening over the fields, became, say, fastening over the fields of Valinor as the shadow, as the shadow of black cloud upon the wind fleets over the sunlit. It means fly over the sunlit earth, and they came uh, before the green mount, Mount Hills, means Azilaha. Then the light of Angoland rose up even to the roots of the trees, and Milka sprang upon the mount. Sprang means uh, jump upon the mount, and with his black spear, his smote, smote is the uh, bust of uh, smite, which means strike each tree to its core, wounded them deep, and their sap, sap means flute poured forth as it were their blood, and was spilt upon the ground, but Anconia sucked it up, and going then uh, from tree to tree, she set her black beak, beak, uh, the jaws, or let's say the tooth, the tooth, sharp tooth, to their wounds, uh, till they were drained, so it was, uh, she was sucking it, all its uh, sap. And the poison of death that was in her went into their tissues and withered them root, branch, and leaf. Tissues, sometimes it's pronounced, but it's pronounced tissues, uh, which means the fabric of the trees. And withered them root, branch, and leaf. Withered means dried it. And they died, and still uh, she thirsted, thirsted, she still thirsted. I'll come to the wells of Varda. She drank them dry, but I'm going to play the belch. Belch means uh, it's a spit forth, black uh, vapors, vapors uh, just like esteem or that uh, 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 vibrator as she drank. And swelled to a shape, swelled means increase in size, to a shape so vast and hideous that Mika was afraid. So the great darkness fell upon Valinor of the deeds of that day, much is told in the Alondile, uh, Aldon, 
although deny, although deny it's uh, say a law or a, a token by Elamia, Elamia, one of the Fania of, of the Fania made and it's known to all that yet so no song or tears could contain all the grief until that had uh, that then before 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 means something bad happened there. The lights failed, but the darkness that followed was more than loose of light. In that hour was made a darkness that seemed not like, but I think with a peak of its own. Uh, just like the darkness, not just a void, but then uh, just like a being, or just like a creature of its own. For it was indeed made by malice out of the light, and it had power to pierce the eye, and to enter heart, mind, and strangle the farewell. Father looked uh, down from tranquility and beheld the shadow soaring up in the sudden towers of a gloom. Farmer had foundered in a deep sea of night. Foundered means sink in a deep sea of night. Soon the holy mountain stood alone. Uh, last island in the world that was uh, done. So the holy mountain stood alone. But uh, at last, uh, the last island in the world that was done all. I don't, so it will be the last time. To also, uh, to also all drowned by, drowned by, let's say, drowned by the darkness. But uh, at last, all songs ceased. There was silence in Bano and no sound could be healed. Save only, or except only from afar, there came on the wind through the, uh, the pass of the mountains the wailing of the Tilleri. Like the call to cry of God or gods or gods, gods, a type of bird that uh, eats uh, fishes that mostly scatter through the seas. For it blew the chill, blew chill, uh, just like utter, uh, just like the thrusted chill from east in that hour, and the vast shadows of the sea were cold against the walls of the shore, of the shore. But man way from his high seat looked out and his eyes alone burst through the night until they saw a darkness beyond dark which they could not penetrate. Huge even the eyes of man way on all valor they were still able to see the darkness. But there's a darkness or dark inside a darkness inside this that they could not penetrate it. Huge but far away, moving now northward with a great speed. And he knew that Melchior had come and come. So this was uh, the Angolian had Melchior inside this dark, that why they couldn't, the valley couldn't see it. Then the pursuit was begun, and the earth shook or trembled beneath the horses of the host of Orome. And the fire that was stricken, stricken means, uh, uh, meaning of stricken means. Uh, afflicted or damaged from the hooves of the Fahar, Nahar, his horse, and the hooves of his shoes, was the first light that returned to Valeno of the light that was stricken by the hooves of Nahar of Oromi. But so soon as any came with the cloud of Ancorin, the riders of the Valar were blinded and dismayed. So even the riders of Valar, like Orme, Ormo, uh, Tulkas, and many others of the Vala, when they came to this uh, uh, cloud of Ungoland, they just become blind, blinded, and dismayed, or they can't see anything, or just lost. Even their light couldn't penetrate through this darkness. And they were scattered, and they went, they knew not whether that time they uh, scattered, and they knew not, they just like lost the Vala. All lost. And the sound of the Valaroma faltered and failed. Valaroma, the sound of, of the hope that was Orme, faltered means uh, decreased and failed. And Tulkas was as one caught uh, in a black net at night, and he stood powerless and beat the air in vain. So even Tulkas, the champion of Valar, who was the strongest. Of them, caught in a black net of uh, Angolians uh, at night, so he just like fall in a trap, and he stood powerless and couldn't uh, free himself from this uh, trap or this net. 
and BVL in vain. BVL in vain means uh, doing uh, pointless work or pointless efforts or not able to success. So it just was like hitting or trying to release himself from the snake, but he couldn't. But when the darkness has passed, it was too late. Uh, Milka had gone uh, whether uh, he would, uh, with the time he would, and his vengeance was achieved, uh, and he was on a way to escape. And in this tutorial, uh, sorry, and this chapter has finished. Mm -hmm.